I know it's been a while, but I'm back. The previous video that I made showing you guys how to send crypto from Luno to Binance was about two years ago, three years almost. Damn, Dennis was really young back then. Uh, crazy times. But let's just get straight into this video because what's with all of this waffling? So, on my phone right here, as you guys can see that I'm in Luno, all you gotta do is click on more on the top right. You go ahead and click uh, send to another platform, right? And then click Bitcoin because that's what I'm going to be sending from one platform to another. So send to, it's very easy. For me, in my case, I'm trying to send it to Binance. So all I gotta do in Binance is go into the app, click on the bottom right, wallets, and then go into deposit, and then go ahead and search up Bitcoin. And then I'll have to make sure that I'm clicking and using the Bitcoins network. So you don't wanna click into anything else like BAP2, BAP20, these are all Binance's network. So all you gotta do, it's very simple, uh, copy the deposit address, paste it into this address in Luno, click next, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a test amount, right? Because a few years ago, I was a smart kid. I was telling everyone to, you know, go ahead and do a small test first before you send your entire crypto portfolio over to Binance. And before you send it, always remember when you're sending cryptocurrency, you'll have to always do a test amount. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click 50 ringgit just to test test out the network and see whether if the crypto reaches Binance or not. So we go ahead and click next. Um, and then for DRB, right, uh, for me, I'm not borrowing any kind of, I'm not taking out any loans. So I just gotta go click no, I don't. And then let's move on to, you know, just be honest. That's, that's my personal recommendation for you guys, just to be honest. It's my address and then uh, this is uh, another exchange and then go ahead and click Binance. Just look for Binance and then I confirm the information. Next, and then, holy shit, the gas fees is like 33 ringgit. <sighs> well, it really depends on how busy the network is. The fees would vary from time to time, but it is really, really expensive at this time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit send because I don't have any other options. I'm going to be transferring my assets into Binance and I'll be making another copy trading video. So uh, a lot of people know me for that. So I'm gonna be making another copy trading video. So here are my uh, content maxing and hopefully you guys watch this video and stay tuned for the next copy trading video as well. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit send and let's wait a few minutes for the crypto to reflect in my Binance wallet. And typically it takes about five to 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes really depending on how busy the network is for the crypto to arrive on your other wallet that you're trying to send. All right, update. So I've been refreshing my Binance spot wallet for about five to 10 minutes right now, and no signs of Bitcoin is showing up in my current wallet. All right, so it's about 24 hours later, and I've already received my Bitcoin sent from Luno to Binance. It actually took me about an hour or so. So the moment I received that crypto in my Binance account, I was already getting ready for bed. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully that this video could help you send your crypto assets out of Luno to do whatever you want. In my case, I will be doing another copy trading video with Binance. But that is the whole reason of me making this video. With that being said, if you want to watch that copy trading video in Binance, do subscribe. With that being said, I don't know how many times I said with that being said already, but with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I still trying to work towards these blessings, but the devil keep interfering.